had a bench press that my brother was in and he won it and they uh, somebody said hey give me a bicep shot so I so I did that shot and uh, it was probably 1982 <laughs> yeah it was a uh, it was pretty interesting I was really uh, I was going up in weight and everything at the time I was getting ready for uh, the universe and um, so uh, I knew I had some something to give you know, little muscles to show. And then this other picture was from the world, 1986. And um, that was an interesting show up in um, uh, Hartford, Connecticut. And um, I was in with some real good heavy hitters there. Some Jeff King and uh, Greg Kowak. Um, big hitters. I did well. I did good. I placed fourth in the Mr. World. So it was a nice time and uh, got me to uh, move on into um, other shows that uh, actually opened the door for me, placing fourth and ended up going into the, uh, um, into the Nationals and I won the Nationals in Europe. And after that I came back to the United States and everybody thought I was really uh, pretty decent now that I'm uh, making some headway, let's say. And it was a, uh, it, it propelled me. I finally won the America, and then from there I uh, went into the universe and finally won that a couple years later. But all these shows here really propelled me to uh, open the door up and um, kind of like got me in, you know. And it was a roundabout way. Most people usually build a ladder and go up and, and, and you know, you climb it to uh, certain titles and you and you go accordingly, but um, it seems like I didn't do that. For some reason, I got so far as to North America, and somebody saw me there and said, why don't you go win the world? And I went, I, I can't win the North America. Am I going to go in the world? And I am going into the world, and it ended up like, wow, I did great in the world. I, I placed fourth in the world, and uh, I couldn't win the North America. So it was like, wow, that's weird. And then from the North America, uh, I mean, from the world meet, I got asked to go to Europe to uh, represent the United States in the Nationals, and I won the Nationals, and then when I came back, boom, I started to, I finally ended up winning, huh? I started, I won the IFBB North America, and that was in 2000, so you see the road I took, 84, 82, 84, 86, 90, it's a little bit of a trip, but if you really want to, you know, be a champion and feel like you got it, that's what you got to do, it takes time, and um, it's a pleasure. Mm -hmm.